Welcome back. Uh, this is Douglas again, and I recently went to this place called Xi'an and 69 Leonard Street. And he used to be a chef at Sushi Amane, and uh, he was protege of one of the world best sushi restaurant in Tokyo, which is called Sushi Saito. And he opened up. I don't exactly know how long ago, but yeah, he gained. Uh, one Michelin star at a first year or second year and apparently he left that place and now he's a new chef at uh, this place called Xion which is uh, his name and I recently visited and it was an amazing experience one thing I wanted to say is I've, I've been getting a lot of questions about why this omakase is so expensive because you 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 get what you pay for and some of the product that i see with all my eyes i was so shocked at how they were able to get this product with because normally not many restaurants can afford it because it's so expensive and like example one tray of a sea urchin was like 400 500 sea urchins and then if you can let's say you perhaps you can serve for 10 people and which is 10 piece 10 to 12 piece you range about $40 per piece to $50 per piece I you know uh, you gotta do exact math but just the sea urchin itself the cost okay so that piece of a sea urchin could be hundred dollar when you really wants to make a little bit of money though but then when chef has that craftsmanship and then you know passionate about what he wants to serve sometime you know the price is not uh, important but also sometimes like you have to pay a certain amount of money in order to enter the door uh, which is very premium but I think it's it's worth it and I think you should you guys you guys go should try because like a lot of people ask me about hey how is a saffron taste I cannot explain that how is um, shrimp head taste like I cannot explain that and you like example wine people say how do you what do you say about this wine uh, it's so much easier when you go taste it itself because taste is subjective and it's your memory and only way you're gonna gain that experience is you have to go experience it one time I had an experience at uh, in Tokyo uh, when I was working for chef Morimoto he took me to his favorite sushi restaurant called in Ginza and the restaurant name was I think it was Kinja Kube. And then until then, I always thought that tuna was too greasy sometimes. Like especially farm raised tuna. When you eat a farm raised tuna sometimes, you can be too rich. So I didn't like that much. And sometimes it's, it's tuna is too young, then it can be very chewy. And then when they serve the tuna belly, and I looked at it. Oh my god, it will be very chewy and I don't think I can eat this. But when I had that, I was so amazed that it was so clean and then it wasn't overwhelming fattiness and then there was a lot of um, depth of uh, tuna flavor. And I asked him, what was the tuna from? And he said that uh, the chef at the, at the counter at the time told me that the tuna was from uh, Oma, which is a, one of the famous reasons for tuna. So... If I never taste that tuna, then I would never know. And I always have that perception of the greasy tuna belly. So I think it's like life is all about experience and you should always to experience as much as you can because life is very short. And I made a little bit of photo and a little bit of video clip and hopefully you guys like it and i'll get back to you with the more contents thank you this is Douglas again and hope to see you guys soon